but you got a chemical shitstorm. Oh. Well, there, there's pus in there. There's pus over there. We're getting a lot of great feedback on those first two episodes. We did McDonald's for breakfast. We did Cheesecake Factory. We did some cheesecake. If you guys haven't watched those episodes, you gotta watch. You gotta watch them. I, I'm cracking up about the Cheesecake Factory episode for sure. That was a fun one. I think we should ask, what's the biggest fucking cheesecake you've gotten? And so in that last episode, we asked people, we said, where do we wanna, where do you wanna go next? Where do we wanna go next? Tell us. And uh, you guys said Chipotle. And so in this video, as you're watching it, let's think of the next restaurant, because every single week, we're gonna go to another restaurant, a franchise, something that is well known across the US to help you navigate the different menus, right? So you're in a worst case diet scenario, and I know like, does a worst case diet scenario really exist? We can always pack, you know, deli meat and hard boiled eggs and nuts, so I get that. That's not the point of this. The point isn't saying don't be prepared. Like, best case scenario is, is that you're prepared and you're never in a worst case diet scenario, but the reality is is that we forget and we're off and we're running and we're busy and Sometimes there's only a Cheesecake Factory or a McDonald's or a Chipotle or a Taco Bell. Taco Bell, I think, is coming and that is not something I'm looking forward to. But you're always in a situation and if you haven't packed or you're not prepared, then what do you do? And so my job is to go to all the most well-known restaurants and help you navigate the menu. All right, here we are at Chipotle. Do you say Chipotle or do you say Chipotle away? You guys know that episode? Oh my gosh. So the poll says Chipotle. Chipotle. The 39% of you that said Taco Bell just want to see me eat that shit. <laughs> uh, that's, what I, that's, that's what I'm saying. This is going to be a fun one, you guys. Uh, I'm going to do a taco bowl. And let's do uh, the barbacoa. Uh, yeah, white rice. Skip the beans. Yeah, the fajitas. Uh, mild. No cream cheese. No cheese, no cheese. A little bit of avocado. That's it. But you got a chemical shitstorm. Oh. Well, there, there's pus in there. There's pus over there. You did. You failed. You fucking, you fucking failed. This is healthy. <laughs> That's what most of the world thinks. I wouldn't have done the dairy. I would have definitely have stayed away from the dairy. So if you're at Chipotle and you're thinking about doing dairy, stay away from the dairy. If you guys want more information about dairy, we've done tons of videos on it. There's blogs on our on our site about dairy. It goes into, into depth. But the people that have trusted me and gotten off of dairy for just seven days, their skin clears up, their digestion is better, inflammation goes down, they've got more energy, they sleep better, weight loss, less bloat, you guys, dairy is, Trust me on this one. Now here's the other thing I want to talk about too, is I want to talk about portions. So no matter how big the meal is, no matter what you're eating, we're gonna eat until we're 70% full. We're gonna be intentional with this meal. We're gonna give gratitude and thanks. And then we're gonna eat it until we're 70% full. Not until we've got stomach distension, not until we're, you know, fatigued, falling out of our chair, but oh, coma, right? That's that's not the point. The point, the point of this is to grab grab the fuel from it, is to grab the calories from it, so that my body can use and utilize them to operate more efficiently. I wanna stay mentally focused all day. I don't want the foods and the nutrition and the things that I do to affect my focus. I always wanna look good, I always wanna stay lean, right? So I'm being, I'm already mindful of those things, right? My intention here going in, because otherwise I get lost in this bowl, it's gone, and then Right, I set, up the, I set myself up to fail all day because all I want is carbs and food. So, carbs. There is probably three cups of rice, two and a half for sure. Right, so you're gonna have carbs the size of your fist. That's all we're doing, all right? So eyeball it, it's not gonna be perfect, but carbs only the size of your fist, all right? I'm not concerned with the lean meat. I'm not concerned with the healthy fats. I decided to go with um, barbacoa just because that's my favorite meat at Chipotle. Um, I'm not a fan of the chicken here at Chipotle. I'm not really a fan of the steak. It's a little too fatty for me and sometimes I get that, you know, that grizzle. I, I don't like it. So I usually do carnitas or I do the, the barbacoa. The choice is yours. Um, meat, you can consume all of the meat if you want. Again, we're still eating until we're 70% full. 
right? The avocado or the guacamole is great. It's healthy fats, a couple of thumbs worth there. Tomatoes, veggies, load up on the veggies. The only thing that I wouldn't, wouldn't consume all of here is carbohydrates. My goal is fat loss. If you're post-workout, your goal is lean muscle tissue, eat it all. Again, I still wouldn't eat past being 70% full because then you get uncomfortable and that's when you just get miserable, your attitude shifts and you just are like mad at the world. Come on, tell me you know, tell me you know what I'm saying. Right? Tell me you know, right? You overeat, you binge, you, you overeat, you feel guilty, you realize, oh my gosh, what did I just do? Because you're mindlessly doing it. Once you get past 70%, now you're just, right? It just becomes habit. So you're just, just bulldozing it in. But tell me you don't know the feeling, right? Watch this right now, comment below and tell me you don't know the feeling, right? When you just indulge, and you just go too far, and your waistband gets tight, you get bloated, you get uncomfortable, and you just you just hope and pray that the poop is coming. I mean, come on, right? You just hope and pray. Oh my gosh, I just I just can't wait, just can't wait to go to get all this out. So make the decision now, have intent now, have the awareness now, have the conscious now to say, okay, here's my intent. I want to get fuel. I want to be healthy. I want to be vibrant. I want to have my memory. I want to have my focus. And so I'm gonna eat until I'm 70% full so that my mind doesn't shift, my focus doesn't shift to how I'm feeling, how I look. It can focus on the moment and living, actually living life, enjoying life and not being miserable and focused on all of the discomfort, right? That shouldn't be where your focus is every day. And if it is, then check yourself right now and say, oh gosh, right, he's saying some things here. Let's implement this slowly because there's a lot of validity to, to what he's saying. Right? I know that feeling. I know when I feel like crap because I've eaten too much. And I know what the ripple effect is and I know how it cascades and I know how right, that eventually leads to one and two and three and five days and seven days and then I don't go to the gym, right? Let's go. You want mine? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. It's not gonna, you know, when you, do, when you don't eat, when you don't eat it for a while, it's still heavy Just all the way. Huh? Take a bite. I already taken a couple bites. Yeah. Yeah. Take a bite. I mean, I'm just not. Some of the guac in there. I just don't. You got that on top of the pus, on top of the antibiotics, on top of the cow feces. Mm, get that. It. Just get in there. Just get in there. You know what I mean? Just, just get in there and stir that shit up. There you go. <laughs> stir that shit up. There you go. Now you got it. Now you got it all. <laughs> yeah. Shit, let's get some, let me find some dog shit. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me might as well just add to it, right? I don't want people to have to, to come here and have to feel bad or feel bad because this is their only option. My, here, my, my, my place here is just to show you and navigate the menu for you because I realize that everybody makes a different amount of money. Everybody, you know, has more or less family and obligations which allow you to, or don't allow you to buy really expensive food. Like this is, you know, what is it, a $10 meal? You know, $10 meal, I'll probably get two meals out of that. Like I get that's a reality for a lot of people and I'm sensitive to that. Um, I just, I also have to be real and transparent with who I am so that you guys know how I would navigate if you were me, right? Um, in my situation, I suppose. So yeah, no, I definitely don't want to want, want to come off that way, no way. I want to educate, I want to entertain. I hope it's a little funny. Holy, oh, really quickly. Brown rice versus white rice. Why did I get white rice? So click the link below or wherever and, and watch the video. I don't wanna to go too deep down the rabbit hole, but you should be choosing white rice over brown rice. And I know that's contrary to what you've been told, uh, but the video goes super deep into why you choose white rice over brown rice. So make sure you watch that video. It's a short one, but really informative. Now, going back to here, you guys told us, you said, hey, go to Chipotle. So we're here, I hope that you learned not as much about the choice because I think you can eat relatively healthy at Chipotle outside of loading up dairy. I wanted you to understand portions and I think that's the most important thing here and understanding that you don't have to eat, you don't have to finish your bowl. Divide this into two meals, now you've got two 500 calorie meals, right? It's, that's the message here. It's really understanding where your threshold is and what makes sense for you and how you wanna feel, but be intentional. As you're going into this, say, hey, you know, I don't, I've got these meetings coming up, I've got such and such happening, I don't, I don't wanna be overly full, I don't wanna focus on my bloat, I don't, you know, wanna have distension, I've got things to do. So just be mindful in your routine, right? 
And if you're gonna binge, find those moments where it makes sense. Find those moments and be intentional with it. Say, yeah, I'm gonna overheat, you're, I'm hungry, and, and gourd out and do your thing. But on those other times, be super intentional with that, right? So you're eating and, and your fuel fuels your success. That's the key. So let me know where we're going next, right? Hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, hit the thumbs up, comment below, definitely comment below. We wanna know where should we go next. Every single week on Wednesday, we do a worst case diet scenario and we're gonna go to all the different most favorable, most well-known franchises across the US to help you navigate the menu. Not saying that you can't come prepared because we can always be prepared, but I wanna do this so that you know how to navigate the menu across all the best and most popular franchises in the US and world. Take care, thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your week or weekend. Step by step by step by step